Ghost Train, The Untold Story of Timothy, by Kane Taker Fan 701 There have been so many stories and legends being told on the island of Sodor. Most of them were brought up whenever long periods of fog and mist came and the engines would bring up these supernatural tales. There was one story in particular that had recently been brought up, one that gave children nightmares in the worst way. Once upon a time, there was an engine who used to work on Sodor, long before Thomas came in 1915. The story went something like this. Early one night, there was a steam engine waiting at the docks to take his passengers home. He had a similar shape like Thomas, with six small wheels, except he was painted silver and had the number zero on his side. His name was Timothy. He was an old but kind engine with a broad smile and wrinkles at the end of his mouth. All the passengers climbed on board the coaches, and the guard blew his whistle. I'll see him ahead, Timothy, called out the driver. Sure thing, replied Timothy, and with that, the little engine set off. Timothy was soon puffing down the line in the countryside, with the rails humming and the carriages clattered behind him. The moon was full, the signals were down, and the wind was blowing gracefully. As he approached the first station, it happened. The driver applied the brakes, but Timothy kept on going and shot past the station. He started going faster and faster. Timothy, what are you doing? shouted his driver. Timothy didn't answer. He just kept on going. Suddenly, they were switched onto the wrong line, heading away from the main line. Then the driver and fireman saw in horror that they were heading towards a cliff where a viaduct was to be built. Timothy, don't! You'll kill us all! screamed the driver. He and the fireman scrambled and fiddled with the controls, desperately trying their best to stop him, but it was no use. Timothy had a very scary, but angry, evil, and aggressive look. His eyes turned black with tiny red irises, and he had zombie-like teeth. I am gonna send you all to the graveyard! He bellowed in a deep, demonic voice as he charged to the edge of the cliff. Timothy crashed through the blockade, and he, along with his crew, the coaches, and the passengers, fell to their deaths below. There were no eyewitnesses and no survivors. The wreck was found by the workmen, but they couldn't identify who the engine was due to being blown up and charred. When investigates came, they had very little evidence to go on, but the bodies of both driver and fireman were found and they thought they had tried to save the locomotive and the passengers, but couldn't in time. Investigators ruled it as a normal tragic train accident with mechanical failures to the controls as the cause of the crash. Years later, the construction to the viaduct was commenced. However, after the rails were laid and the final works to it were being made, many workmen and railway staff reported seeing a ghost train run by, whistling fit to burst and cursing in a demonic voice before screaming into the darkness and disappearing. But these supernatural occurrences did not come often. However, many witnesses didn't know that it was the ghost of Timothy haunting the viaduct. Nobody really knew whether to believe it or not, but it was according to those who had heard about his story.
And every year, on the date of his suicidal accident, Timothy runs again, as a warning to others, plunging into gap, shrieking like a lost soul.